Hey, Royce, quick question for you. We just got over here. I want to talk to you. Your first ever playoffs here. You had two home runs in your first game. Today you clinched. How does it feel, your rookie season? This feels special. To be, to be able to say that this is my rookie year, you know, and uh, first time being a part of something like this, man, we got the right pieces, we got the right team, and uh, we feel like a family. So it's really awesome. Is this moment even more special after all the adversity that you've gone through, two ACLs, all the injuries this season? Yeah, that definitely helped selfishly for me uh, because I've worked my butt off, you know, to get to this point and to try, try to help and contribute this team. Uh, and for me to be able to be a part of it, it's just so amazing and special. Royce, I want you to take fans at home what your emotions were like. Because when you came out as you were introduced the other day, you had all the emotion, all the energy. No other player had it like you. What's it like playing in the playoffs right now? It, it is unreal. You know, it's unmatched. You gotta take it all in because you never gar granted, uh, you know, guaranteed a chance to come here. And uh, I just wanted to take it all in. I did that to the max yesterday, and uh, you know, I was lucky enough to get those home runs as well. So it made my day a lot better. Well, I know you have some champagne celebrations to get to, but I got one final question. How do you guys keep this feeling going and get another celebration like this in a couple of weeks? You know, it helps when we celebrate like a family and we have fun right here, and then uh, we go ahead and and get ready for practice tomorrow and then go ahead and work on Houston. All right, thank you. I thank appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. You. That's the rookie phenom and Royce Lewis, the game one hero. He contributed with a big walk here in game two. And now we'll get to see more at-bats from him as the playoffs continue for the Twins. Now we'll toss it to the other side of the locker room for Jim Rich. Jim, take it away, buddy. All right, thanks very much, Samad. I'm with Nick Gordon, and Nick, you weren't on the playoff roster, but you were so vital to this club. I've never seen somebody wave a towel as well as you did in that dugout. <laughs> I mean, listen, we got to impact the game somehow. You know, I'm out here. I'm with my brothers. My brother, I'm from Zilla. 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 I'm Everybody waving them towels saying believe, but I think it really starts in here. We believe. We really believe. We really believe, and we want everybody to believe because we coming for sure. You look at the way this club has played defensively in this series. Very aggressive. You guys are going for plays that we didn't see during the regular season. Correa's played a home, the pickoff today at second. Where did that come from? Well, they say if you're scared, get a dog, and we ain't scared. So we take chances, and we execute, and we practice this type of stuff, and that's what we're here for. What does it feel like to be the group to lift the monkey off the stake that's been listening to this for years that we can't win a playoff game and you guys are going to go down in history as the group to uh, lift that spell off the rest of us hopefully history ain't over yet hopefully we can make some more history that's what we're shooting for so let's keep going i'm gonna keep swinging this towel i'm gonna keep trying to hype everybody up and we're gonna keep going let's roll and let's do it i don't got a voice i'm gonna let my voice rest for the next day and a half after that, I'm back on. Let's go. All right. Nick, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Congratulations, man. It's been pretty crazy here today. Twins having a pretty good time. And uh, where would you like me to go next, or do you want me to just grab more players? This, uh, this is uh, Mr. Pagan here. Uh, you're live on television, so uh, watch what you say, but uh, happy to be here. Uh, what about this group that's been so amazing in your eyes? Just the consistency from from the second from the all-star break on we've been one of the best teams in the game if not the best um, That's no disrespect to anybody else, but you know, we played really really good baseball And so, you know, we've done the same thing this series to only give up one run to an offense like that is a testament to how good this pitching staff can be and uh, It's really cool to be a part of it's been fun to watch and I'm looking forward to my opportunity You look at the way this club has gelled the second half what turned it for you guys was there something that all of a sudden everything started to click for you? I don't know. I, I think it's just baseball. Things kind of evened out. You know, we said in spring training we knew we were a good team. You know, that that wasn't smoke and mirrors. We, we truly believed it. You know, we, we knew we had a chance to be special. Um, things didn't go our way in the first half, you know, consistently. There was flashes of it, but we wasn't there as a unit consistently. 
And so from the second half on, you know, we knew we had to come out with a sense of urgency. And uh, man, we, we've been we've been rolling ever since. All right, where'd you get the goggles? I'm not sure. They were in, in my locker. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. equipment staff takes care of everything, right? Yeah, hot rod and the guys are the best. Best I've been around. So, you know, we're lucky to have them. All right, congratulations. Don't get rid of those because you made use of them a lot more. Thank you. Uh, let's go.